Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now a first carry for Melvin Gordon. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. Rivers to throw it. Blitz coming and down he goes. Brandon Marshall not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. So it's third and long for the Chargers and Rivers after the sack. Play fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. In his third year now, here's the punter, Matt Darr, to kick this away. Emmanuel Sanders deep for the Broncos. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And yeah, Sanders now to return. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. So the D-line's going to spread out. Now a carry. It's C.J. Anderson. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. A loss of a full three yards. And now it's second down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Second down, here's Simeon. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Joey Bosa in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Simeon in need of something big following that sack, facing third and long. The shotgun snap for Simeon. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, we quit counting yardage on that one, didn't we? That was truly third in a mile, wasn't it? It was. I thought they might just go underneath, but they didn't. They wanted to get the first down there. Yeah, they tried to pick up the huge chunk unsuccessfully. I'm with you. I would have tried to take some yardage just to gain some field position. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Now Benjamin. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger offense making their way back out there. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Second down. Sets up the screen to Gordon. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. And give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. 
the blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner. Everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. And he's going to be taken down deep into Bronco territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 49 yards. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. On first and 10, Rivers. His pass caught at the four. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Antonio Gates, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. Nick Novak on now for the extra point. And the Chargers grab the 7 nothing lead. Novak out now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bronco offense now set to come back out onto the field. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? So you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Right, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and make the offensive move a little bit better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. With the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> so a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away. Throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. First down, here's the run with Anderson. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action hit them over the top. To throw on second is Simeon. He'll find the rookie from La Tech. It's Carlos Henderson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Bronco first down. They run. Anderson. And a big tackle there as the defender runs right through it. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. They run. Charles. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Denver has a first down on the 15-yard play. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Back alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Bronco football to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. Sharp there with his feet. Gets him a little extra space. And then drop just inside the 20. Call it a gain of five. 
And that'll make this a second down. From the gun, here's Sevian. Over the middle, open is Thomas. And he'll be knocked down sideways. That catch good for five. It's third down. A great job there, Charles, just to hold on, absorb that contact. I guess that's the risk you take catching the ball toward the middle of the field. It is, and if you're going to gain yardage, you're going to have to go there at some point. But how about the read, okay? The eyes of that play, stepping out from the middle of the field and really making a big hit. Did not get free, but boy, that's a tough area to go into when you're going into his spot. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Again, Simeon trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. And a short return will be stopped inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. They go play action here on first down. He's going to float. And got his man complete. A gain of 32 that time. So let's go ahead and add to the difficulties of guys trying to cover receivers. they got to deal with speed, shiftiness, all that stuff. But how about when they have height and length and deep downfield, you throw the ball up in the air, that's how they uncover at the end of a route, by being able to go up over the top and make a big catch. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Williams, the man in motion left. They keep it on the ground. Again, Gordon. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. And the offense there, the O-line, everybody really on offense, they were just manhandled at the point of attack. Yeah, you could pretty much call them all out, couldn't you? <laughs> Almost by name, right? That was a very tough sequence for the offensive line. But how about that defensive front creating a new line of scrimmage and creating a lost yardage possibility? On third down, Rivers. He's got a man. It's Williams. And he's taken down before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Ready. The first down throw here for Rivers. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds all the way down at the five-yard line. That one good for 33 and a first. After that nice game there for the rest of the game, the defense is going to have to respect the running backs as passing threats as well. Not just play them strictly to run the football. They may be able to get downfield and catch it too. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. First and goal, Melvin Gordon. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Melvin Gordon, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers are going to add on to their lead. And it's good to make it 14-0.
No back out now to kick this one away. And it's a short kick. Now a hit and a loose football. And picked up by the Chargers. And he takes it back to the house. It's a fumble recovery and a Charger touchdown. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This one fielded at the five. <laughs> and not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. A reminder later tonight, a game some folks have had circled on their calendars since the schedule came out in April. That's the Super Bowl rematch. Falcons, Charles, at Foxborough to take on the Patriots. Super Bowl 51 and a half, anyone? <laughs> then on Monday night, that's no slouch either. An NFC East battle between the Redskins and the Eagles. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. All right, here we go. Back to the air, Simeon on second down. Looking for Sanders, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jutavis Brown. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. Now Gordon on first down. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. We'll come back to Southern California after this. Second down, Rivers. Steps away, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now the Broncos are going to take a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So it's third and long for the Chargers and Rivers after the sack. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. Rivers is going to stay out there. They're going to try for this thing on fourth down. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Broncos will take over on downs. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing Charles to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. On second and ten, Simeon. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They come after them, they've sat back, 
I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Back to throw, Simeon. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. It kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and find... And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Jaleel Adai. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold up. But he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Of we'll see what his offense can do. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 41. And now the Broncos will burn another timeout here. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On third down, Rivers in a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Todd Davis and his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I'd put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But if you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. A good pick up there at 20 yards. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. I think he's making plays like that when Carlos Henderson's name will be extended to Carlos Henderson, big play guy. Well, he maybe wasn't the household name out of college, went to Louisiana Tech, but 19 touchdowns last year. That tied the number five overall pick, Corey Davis, for the most in D1 football. Here's Simeon now on second down. That's caught. It's Thomas. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Here's Simeon. The quick slant caught. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. And now the clock will stop as he's able to get up and spike it here. The offense on third down, they've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and goal. Throwing again is Simeon. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Virgil Green as the first half is winding down. And the Broncos get a bit closer. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. And a lot of football. Full half to be played. The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Strong 
following the interception here. Rivers. And pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Well, he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. To throw, Rivers. Gates has it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And the timeout comes in with two seconds remaining. So they can trot out the field goal unit for the try before we hit the lockers. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 46. And the kick is good. He needed a little help there from the crossbar, but the carom goes his way. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Broncos' offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Second and ten, Simeon again. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. Demarius Thomas. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Demarius Thomas, his second touchdown on the season. And the Broncos cut into that lead. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. This is taken at the three. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And a great return. Solid field position. He's up all the way to the 45-yard line. Now, that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get into that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. Now a play fake here on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Ten yards still left on second down. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Rivers now. Now they go screen. It's complete. It's a first down and more for Gordon. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Second down now after the incompletion. To throw again. Rivers. Gates with a grab. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 
The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Do you get the sense, Brandon, that people are trying to retire Antonio Gates? They keep thinking this is almost the end. Of and he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Melvin Gordon with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. No back out now to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? 23 yards on the play. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's brought down. 17 yards for the Broncos there as they've got themselves a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll let Charles try and get him in. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. That almost felt like the defense said he is not getting in. What a play. Not only stopping him at the line, but pushing him back a yard as well. They'll try the air now with Simeon. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. Got to figure this is one they need here on third and goal. They come out here in the eye. Third and two, Simeon. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Virgil Green with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Broncos get a bit closer. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Now McManus on to kick this one off. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Chargers getting set to go. They've got to right the ship. They had a great first half, but the lead has really gone down. Now, you know, you always talk about the adjustment to the adjustment. They've got to adjust right here. And I think a lot of it is just mentally. Get back to doing what you were doing well in the beginning of the game, but a lot of that is playing with that emotion and that sense of pride and fire that sometimes goes away a little bit when you build up a lead. You think you've got it going, and you also think at any moment I can go ahead and go back to the way it was before. You and I both know it's not that easy once you get off the gas a little. Yeah, they don't want to see this lead diminish anymore. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. 
It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Play fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Now a tenth carry for Melvin Gordon. And he'll be tackled right on the midfield logo. Eight yards on the ground there, and now they're looking at a third and two. That's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball, the ones in the huddle doing the chirping, right now I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. They're going to run. This is Gordon. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. They'll give him a yard on the play, and they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. On first and ten, Rivers. The right side, complete to Escobar. And he's brought down. That one good for 13 and a charger first. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw. But you know their defense is going to be, but we put up big points all game long. The defense is going to win one every now and then. Rivers now on second down. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Third and long for Rivers. He's got his man. It's Williams. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Oh, long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. First down, Rivers. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete.